Daniel years. and I went out, and I took Daniel to a gay bar. And what do you I'd remember like to say from it's that? Not, night? Wasn't my first gay bar. It's like it's like it's not such. For me, it was no big deal. <laughs> Like, well, it was the rooster fish on Abikini. Uh, no, and it doesn't exist anymore. Right? No, it does. No, oh, it so does. no, it didn't, and then it's back. Oh, that's good. But news. I will tell you yeah. this: like we were right outside the door, thumping music, yeah. and I said, and I, I, "We are quite tactile. happy." <laughs> no, and also we're tactile. We love each other. Well, so we, we love each other. We're tactile. We give each other, we give each other hugs. It's right. like it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> and like, we, you know, and so we went in. So we go in. Right. right. No, we had a good time. The mm. band was playing. Yeah. Um, I want to. The thing that I found so funny about that night is like as people started to notice that you were in the room, mm. there were like these two girls down at the end of the bar that clearly were a couple. And the next thing I know, one of them is standing by you and like trying to push me away. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. And then somebody else asked me if I was your manager and I yelled at him <laughs> because I was like, what do you mean his manager? <laughs> like, that's the question. Do you have any thoughts about that night? Because I got in trouble. Excuse me, I got in trouble. It was, you know, it's just, it was, it was for me. It was one of the situations, and and and, and the irony is, you know, we kind of got caught, I suppose, which was kind of weird because we were doing nothing fucking wrong. No, I mean we were drinking and it was. And the, what happened is we were having a nice night, and I kind of were talking to you about my life, and yeah. my life was changing. And we got drunk, and I was like, oh fucking, let's just go to a bar. Come on, let's fucking go out. And, and and it was at the time when I was not doing that. I just was not, but you know, I mean, because of what happened that night, basically, is that kind of we got busted for again for doing nothing wrong. Um, and and I just was like, I don't don't give a fuck. And we're in Venice, and I suddenly, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to move to the states, I've always wanted to move to the states, is because of the sort of California spirit, which is like fuck it. Yeah, everything's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. Every we got your back. Right. Everybody's in, there was something you know magical about it, and that was there that night. Yeah. But then there was an, an asshole there. There was a couple of assholes. Right. And and we just we and you know we went to listen. You know, I've been going to gay bars for as long as I can remember, and one of the reasons because. I don't get into fights in gay <laughs> that often. <laughs> right. No, no, but you don't. Get into a no, fight yeah. no, we didn't get into a fight that night, and um, because the aggressive dick swinging in right. hetero bars, I just got very sick of as a, yeah. as, as, a, as a kid because it was like I, I, I just I don't want to get I don't want to end up even in a punch up, and I did. I, that would happen right. quite a lot. Right, and it would just be a good place to go. Everybody was chilled. Everybody, you didn't really have to sort of state your sexuality. Right. It was okay. And it was a very safe place to be. And yeah. I could meet girls there because there were a lot of girls right. who were there for exactly the same reason right. I was there. Right. Completely. So I was, it was kind of, you know, right. it was an ulterior well, motive. Like, right. Clearly that girl and, might not have been a couple with uh, that I'm woman. Sure, maybe, and but she it wasn't, was I wasn't like, there to meet girls that night. And we were kind of having, we just were having doing a our, really yeah, nice, we were having a nice time. Right. And it was we chilled. And we actually, we had a lot of lovely people come up to us and talk to us. And it was a it was blast. Very nice. It's just, we went outside and I don't know what we, we had a hug outside and somebody, yeah. Called the fucking post. No, so they call what the, happened? Well, I can't remember. No, so they the call, story. then we go to the chateau, we have another drink. Oh, right, okay. And then we We were getting drunk. Right, we were getting drunk. We were yeah. we were out. We yeah. were, you were we were celebrating something that was happening mm. in your life that mm. you were really wanted to talk to yeah. me yeah. about yeah, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um it ended up in the National Enquirer. Oh, no, it did. That's and right. so Laura Enquirer. called you, your publicist. <laughs> yeah. Brian comes home from London and he's like silent and then he says what did you do? And I was like, what? And then, but we had a great night and it said, yeah, it I think it said, sh- it was a shit storm yeah, in a teacup. It, look, it goes down. That's as, all it was. It a was, shit storm in a teacup. <laughs> nothing more than that.